this this station does have like fire exits, but because it reminds me of Kenilworth, because some of these newer build ones do have fire exits. But why the hell did they put a fire exit down to like an area which is basically like like weeds and stuff? Morning, everyone. Me, Sam's work trains them all here, back with another vlog and the first filming of the year. It is Saturday, the 14th of January, 2023. I did deliberate intention, uh, intentionally not to plan to film two weeks into the year, but we had a uh, Christmas travel disruption and that only eased off for a couple of days ago. So I'm back out filming on a Saturday, which is going to be a bit annoying because there's a few football matches which we'll have to avoid. But we're going to be covering a few stations today um, because there's actually a rail court tour. It's the Swan Song. Oh, I forget what it's called now. I'll put it on the screen. That is going to be in the Stratford upon Avon area. So there is three stations planned, but I might throw in a fourth if we have time because the rail tour is not actually in Stratford until uh, four o'clock. But yeah, we're heading. I'm waiting for the 0904 London Northwestern service to Birmingham first of all. And I kind of had a bit of a shower in the rain this morning because I've got my coat on, which hasn't got the hood. My mistake. Anyway, let's wait for the train. I've often wondered if they'll ever do anything about this big tree that's growing in between the uh, fast line and platform one here at Rugby Station. Seems a bit odd how it's still there. Right, here comes my first train of the year. And please don't be a blooming two as my first train of the year. It's not, they're treating me. 350104. Don't know what's on the back though, but I'm gonna go in the front unit. I think the back is actually 35129. I'm going to get the front. Right, so I've actually got a little bit of time before the um, actual uh, charter is actually in Stratford up in Avon. It's actually in there about 2 o'clock. It is. But we're going to go to a few stations first on route and also see the charter through two stations. Hopefully, if it all goes to run in order, Wilmco will see the charter through and Stratford up in Avon will see it through. I say see it through because it can't go any further because that's a terminal station. We got One day soon. One day. One day soon. One day. One day soon. One day. One day soon. Right, if we made it to Birmingham Moore Street Railway Station. I thought I'd film here for about an hour and a half first because I was going to film here just before Christmas. Never filmed here though because uh, I, was, I was mainly here to get the Polar Express and also because time and weather was limited. It was raining this morning but the rain has appeared to stop and if you look there, down there it, it looks like it's about to brighten up because we don't actually have to leave here until like 12 o'clock because that's when the train to Wilmco is. So this will, so there'll be four stations now. This one, Wilmco, Stratford upon Avon, and Stratford upon Avon. I do have to bear in mind though, I'm not sure about this day because they never confirmed the time last night when I was checking, but Birmingham City are playing, I think, this afternoon, and I have a funny feeling it'll be very busy around the Borsley area. I'm not sure if that means that Borsley's open all day today or if it's just open for that once a week train, but not going there today anyway. Anyway, I'm going to do some filming here at Birmingham Moor Street. I don't think there's a 68 judo, unfortunately, but we'll catch what we can. And then we'll jump on a train towards Wilmco. All right, as you kick things off at Birmingham Moor Street, we do have an ECS Chiltern Railway service coming in. I believe this is the ECS one anyway, because the other one that sent from London Mybo is that it was running 15 minutes on late, 168217. We'll get a picture of it in a second once it's pulled in. Yeah, I think this is the ECS one.
So Birmingham Moor Street is a Chiltern Railways weather station and it has got four platforms of a I'll show you down here. Oh, there's a sign. I've been looking for a sign for the past five minutes and there's a massive one right here. This is Birmingham Wall Street. We do have a 50 shoes platform. I forget when this closed now. I think it might have been 2010. But platforms three and four are mainly for Chiltern Railway services. And then platforms one and two are mainly for West Midlands Railway services. But they do put a few Chiltern ones on platforms one and two. Normally the ones that are going to Awards Kidderminster, Stalbridge, and um, Birmingham Snow Hill. Anyway, I'm gonna be here for about an hour. Hopefully, uh, no one uh, tells me off here because it is a terminus station and you can get a few security members, but hopefully, we're all good. Right, here comes the 11 o'clock West Midlands where I sell to Worcester Forget Street Farm, Whitlock Sand, 172335 on the front. Connected to 172342. Roger Summer. God, the, the, the long train this one is. The proper treat in your West Midlands with the carriages. Right, I know I said an hour and a half of film, but to be honest with you, I've seen all the trains that you get in the hour, and the only difference in the train classes that we're going to get is in about 10 minutes' time. There's going to be a 165, two 165s, which are going to come in before my train to uh, Wilmcote. So I'll film that in a minute. But first of all, I'm going to see if there's toilets at this station. If there's not, I'm going to have to wait until we get on the train. Oh no, I thought it was going to stop raining and it's uh, started raining again. It did stop raining briefly and apparently it will stop raining again, but now it's raining again. Damn, British weather for you in the winter. At least it's not snowing like last time. <laughs> I say last time, that was like 150 vlogs ago for my uploading. Right here, yeah, and the final train we're going to film here at uh, Birmingham uh, Moor Street is a terminating Chiltern Railway service from London Mybone. It is a set of 165s. On the front is 165-019. Video, it's a bit packed. And then on the rear is one six. Actually, I didn't even catch what the rear number was. You have a train set us in the way. And the rear is one six five double o eight. Right, waiting for the twelve thirty West Midlands Railway service to Stratford Pony right now which I'm going to take to uh, Wilmcote, but it's two carriages. It's going to be busy there, isn't it? Only two carriages. West Midlands, what are you playing at? <laughs> right here, but out goes 172.103. To Stratford upon Avon from Kidderminster, but in the actually, it's back running on time now. It's only a few minutes later on Moor Street. Right, made it to Wilmcote, West Bedlands Railway Run Station. It's got two platforms, additional services are provided by Chiltern Railways. And they're waiting for the uh, the charter. It's 37418 with 50008 on the back. I didn't film anything on the train from Birmingham Moor Street because there were some kids acting hard playing music in the carriage that I sat in. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just save the film until we get to Wilmco. Anyway, we're going to uh, get this charter. I mean, I'm probably going to be here for an hour and move on to Stratford up and Avon Parkway. And then Stratford up and Avon will be the last station to do where I'll get the same charter and I'll film out of Stratford up and Avon and hopefully get some better shots of it than I will do here when it's at speed. There's a couple of people here waiting for it. I thought there might be. Uh, so yeah, it's just at Hatton actually. I thought I was gonna miss it because I thought I was gonna uh, send it through before my train, but they didn't because they also needed to, uh, they can't, because they can't send anything via Beery because there was the um, other train that had to go up to uh, 
Stratford. Anyway, I've got a spot. There's only other one other person in my spot currently. And then uh, let's wait for it and see what else also turns up. Right, here comes the 1356 Chilton Railway service to Stratford Upper Navon from Leamington Spa. One six five zero one eight. I'm sure I've seen this one a few weeks ago. Right, I wanted the full hour here at uh, Wilmcote, but I'm going to move on to uh, Stratford Upper Nathan Parkway in about 50, 15 minutes. I'm on the 14 14 out of here. I am. I could have uh, got that train to uh, Stratford Upper Nathan Parkway, but I wanted like the full hour here. And also, that rail tour we got the uh, Shooter Swan song, which was 5008 and 37418. That was absolutely epic. Probably be one of the. Uh, the best charges like in terms of photos that I've ever got we need to be getting some more of that this year I tell you because that was a proper train and what a treat for that to come down here as well hence why I'm hanging around these stations up until about four o'clock I'm going to do the two Stratfords next and then uh, reverse and uh, get train back towards Birmingham should be home for about six o'clock anyway go across the platform now because there's only one more train due and it's uh, coming from the other way because I know that way it's it's kind of the be better to film on platform one than platform two because platform two has got a bit of a curve but yeah i'm gonna get the train to stratford upper naven in a minute i am right here goes my train which is going to take me to stratford upper naven parkway one seven two three four three Right here, there goes the 1417 West Midlands Railway Service to Stratford Upper Navon only. From Kidderminster. 172343. We have made it to Stratford Upper Navon Parkway. It is a West Midlands Railway run station. It has got two platforms with alternative, alternative. additional services being provided by Chiltern Railways. And um, yeah, this station is actually relatively a newer station on the Shakespeare line compared to the other ones. I've only got out of this station because I thought I may as well do it whilst I'm in the area to save me coming back to it later on in the year because these stations are a little bit more out the way. I say out the way. As in a bit more out the way on the Snow Hill Lines network compared to the rest of uh, them. Uh, and we are still going to get a Chilton set here, which is the one we saw at Wilmcote. But it's still a Chilton set for some trains and uh, just some West Midlands ones. So I'm going to be here for an hour. And then I'm going to get the 1517 West Midlands Railway service to Stratford up on Avon. And guess bloody what? I was going to go to the toilet on that train. Guess what? There's somebody bloody in there, isn't there? Isn't there? I have to wait till Stratford upon Avon now. That's an hour. I'm sure, I can hold it in for an hour. Oh dear, oh dear, what have I found? Start of the year already, and I've already found a damn bus, although it's actually a coach. Johnson's Quality Travel, apparently. Because this is a park and ride station, you can change it for the buses, I believe, and for a relatively big car park. You can. This this station does have like fire exits, but because it reminds me of Kenilworth, because some of these newer build ones do have fire exits. But why the hell have they put a fire exit down to like an area which is basically like like weeds and stuff? When this uh, fire exit uh, goes out to uh, the main part of the road, baffles me that it does. Right, 
Here comes the 1438 Chiltern Railway service to Leamington Spa from Stratford Upper Avon. 165018. Right, here comes the 1517 West Midlands Railway Service to Stratford upon Avon. This is going to be my train out of here. One seven two two one two. This is Stratford. Right, made it to Stratford up and Avon railway station, managed to go on to the toilet on the train. And the chart is in platform one, we've been brought in on platform two. I'm going to be here for an hour, see the chart out, and then we'll be back home. But the only problem is, the chart is off the platform, so can't really see it because it's like so off the platform. Because the buffers are all the way down there, I can't really get a picture of the uh, 50 on the front, to be honest with you. I'll be able to get a picture of the 37, but not the 50. Unless I go over, unless I uh, try and go onto that footbridge over the station and get a photo of it, I might have to try and do that. But Stratford Upper Avon is three platforms, West Midlands Railway run, and it also sees Chilton Railway services also stop here. Right, I'm going to have to try and get a picture of the 50 on its departure, because I can't get one from here properly because they've brought it all the way up to the uh, stop sign. The footbridge is just down there. They are, but it's 50 double eight because we did see it flying through Wilmco earlier. Look at the engine roar on that. I did miss that West Midlands 172 going out in the process of um, getting this train, but never mind because uh, I'll see another one West Midlands in a minute anyway. Coming, I will. And we'll, the main focus of coming to Stratford today anyway was to see this. I've got West Midlands coming in, terminating it from Kidderminster. 172004. You have to excuse the crowds. They're here, they're here for the uh, charter. And the 37 that's behind. On the rear of this uh, 172 is... one seven two three three six. Still at Stratford up and over, I'm just using the train as a waiting room for about five minutes because I want to still film that Chilton train. I'm not actually going to get this one back, I'm going to get the one after so I can get a full mix of trains in the Stratford up and over area. But I just thought I'd come up in here and sit down for a minute. My legs are aching after uh, positioning them positioning them weirdly to uh, film that uh, 37 and 50 out. The police are here at Stratford upon Avon. It kind of wouldn't surprise me. I think they might have been called for just a bit of like backup because um, helps to actually show what I'm showing you. Uh, because uh, 
let's just say there was quite a lot of rail in Fugest. It was mainly a good scene, the uh, charter, but although there was a, there was one or two people which, seriously, they need to watch their language. And I know I swear, but these people were saying the F word in front of some kids, like there's just, and that because they were telling someone, and it, and, it, and it wasn't me, by the way, and I don't know who it was, to move out the uh, effing way. And like, I was like, you don't need to be rude. I was like, Jesus, so yeah, there is one or two that do ruin it for someone else. But yeah, what did surprise me, uh, police might have been here for a bit of backup, especially when there's a crowd of people. Right, here we have a Termination Chiltern Railway service from Leamington Spa. We're only a couple of minutes late. It is 165018. Right, terminated in here at Stratford Up and Avon, which will be my train to take me back towards Birmingham and homebound. It's the West Midlands Railway Service from Kidderminster. 172341. And it's on its own. Oh, it's got three carriages though, not two like earlier. Right. I'm on the um, 172 now back to uh, Birmingham and Wall Street. Overall, success on the uh, snow howl lines so far this year. Well, it's actually the snow hill now, because it's actually not been snow howl for me. There's no cancellations whatsoever. There's been a few few that may have been slightly delayed, but none of mine. But yeah, let's take this train back to Birmingham Wall Street. Then we've got a 15 minutes dash across the city centre to try and make the 1736 train back home. Hopefully we make that one advice. I've got half an hour wait. But at least it's half an hour gaps now as opposed to every 45 minutes to 15 minute gaps. We're even strapping up on Avon now anyway. And uh, which is good because I can be in the warm for 50 minutes on this train. The only problem is this one is the stopping one. Anyway, and I could also charge my phone for a bit anyway. I'll show you a few clips of the journey before it gets dark. <laughs> Three seven three, going back home now, and uh, been yeah, good day uh, filming on the um, Stratford area. No issues at all, very, really, and no disruption to the trains for the first vlog of the year. Well, properly, proper vlog of the year, anyway. Decent. So I'm going to wrap it up, we're coming into Coventry. Right, so See? Right. And then it'll be 10 minutes for me Change back home. Changing services towards Nuneaton, Bedworth, Kenilworth, Nuneaton, Spa, Oxford, Reading, Southampton Central and Bournemouth. Maybe another day. If you are leaving us here, please um, take a look around you. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed. Your if you want to become a member for some more exclusive packs, I'll get them finished. He's, Automated ticket barriers may he's be not quite finished. You want to become a member for some more exclusive packs? Because the join button down there. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and comment down below. So feedback will be appreciated. And if you're new, consider subscribing to the channel because it is free to subscribe and it will really help me out. Have the bell for all notifications and I'll catch you in the next one guys. Peace out guys and bye all.